Hello, students. Today we are going to be talking about the history of transistors. Transistors take us all the way back to the late 1890s with a man by the name of J.C. Bose. At the time, many scientists in the field of electromagnetic waves were using spark gap transmitters and were using other such devices to detect these waves. J.C. Bose, however, was using a different kind of method. He was using a semiconductor, a crystal called galena, that has certain electromagnetic properties that allow it to detect radio waves with ease. Forty years later, we have a, a man by the name of Russell S. Ohl, who worked at Bell Laboratories in the early 1940s. He first discovered the silicon photodetector, which later became the diode, the silicon diode. This followed the principle that was early pioneered by Bose with a Galena crystal. Several years later, three scientists, John Bardeen, Walter Brayton, and William Bradford Shockley, were working diligently at Bell Laboratories where they managed to create the first transistor. This breakthrough came after John Bardeen published his quantum theory on how electrons stayed in relatively free orbits and they could be pulled away by use of electron holes. Electron holes are the cornerstone of electronics as they describe how electrons stay in their orbitals of certain atoms, namely semiconductors. As years passed, transistors got smaller and smaller. With new developments such as the bipolar transistor and the MOSFET transistor, as along with other important advancements. People began to realize the benefits of transistors over vacuum tubes, as transistors used less current, ran at lower voltages, and ran a lot cooler. Without transistors, we wouldn't have much of the many conveniences we do now, such as laptop computers, portable radios, hazard suits, and microchips. Sir, I have a question. What about vacuum tubes? Are they still in use? Vacuum tubes aren't as dominant as they once were, but still find their place with some musicians who find that their sound quality is better than that of transistors. That is all, class. I hope you all have a good day.